Okay, for today's warm-up, 8.29. Good job getting here. Make sure on this paper you label the, the date for me, 8.29. Make sure you put your name, date, and period. That matches the name on my roster. I'd like you to, on your piece of paper you're going to turn in today, just to warm you up, write down these problems I'm going to show you and the secret words to show me that you listened. The first secret word is blue. So write that down, blue. All right, what we did last week to warm you up, we did left to right combined with multiplying and dividing now. If you have a problem that's pure left to right, make sure you start on the left and then bring everything else down. Be patient, left to right. So adding the six and three gives me nine, but make sure you bring down the minus four and the plus six. You don't wanna add those to get 10. And then continuing left to right, 9 minus 4 gives me 5, plus that 6 gives me 11. So left to right. If you're going left to right, sometimes though you got to be careful. Sometimes you have some timesing or division mixed in with adding, subtracting. So you got to always make sure you do any multiplying or dividing first before you do any adding or subtracting. So for this one, don't add 4 and 3. Don't want to do that. You want to leave that four alone because three times two comes first. Three times two gives me six. And then now I could add that four to get 10. Secret word second to write down is dog. Dog is the second word. All right. For the next one, this one has times and division. So do that first, leaving everything else alone. Bring that six down. Plus three times two gives me six. Bring that minus down. 10 divided by five gives me two. Bring that plus down and that five down. And then don't forget to go left to right. Don't add that six and six and two and five and subtract that left to right. Six plus six gives me 12. Bring down the minus two and the plus five. Continuing left to right. 12 minus two gives me 10. Bring that plus five down finally. And then that gives me 15. The third word is red, red. Okay, what we're gonna look at today are continuing order of operation problems or the way to do a problem. But now we have these parentheses added in there, which means do all the work in the parentheses first before you do anything else. And then we have one of these where I give you the value for N and you're just gonna replace those Ns in this expression with that number and then do the math following order of operations. All right, so if you have parentheses, for any work in parentheses, you wanna do the work inside the parentheses first. You wanna subtract this five and two first. You wanna add this three and four first. So when I subtract five minus two, that gives me three. And then I'm gonna bring down the second power. If I want, I could leave those parentheses there. Or after I'm done doing that work inside there, I could get rid of those. And then bring down the minus. 3 plus 4 gives me 7. And now know that 3 with that little tiny 2 up there. That doesn't mean you're timesing 3 times 2. Nope. That means you're taking 3 and timesing it 2 times. So this number 3 multiplied twice. That's what 3 to the second power is. You never times the base times the power. 3 squared or 3 to the second power is 3 times itself twice because of that 2. And then that, of course, gives me 9. So way different than 6. So 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9 minus that 7 now gives me 2. Fourth word is whale. Whale. All right, last one to warm you up. This one, you're going to evaluate and plug this N in and rewrite it with just the N number replaced and then go from there. So I got 4 plus, I'm going to put that N number right there, 5, that second power, that 2 stays there, plus 4 times 3, and then put that 5 right here. For this new rule here, parentheses always come first before anything. But now exponents come second, and then multiplying, dividing next, and then adding, subtracting last. So for this problem, 
do the exponent work first. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which gives you 25. So I write everything else with just that one part done. 4 stays there. This becomes 25, never 10. This is going to stay 4 times 3 minus 5. Now for this problem, do this timesing first. So that 4 stays the same. Plus 25. Plus 12. Minus 5. Now it's a left to right. 4 plus is 29. Bring that 12 down and that minus 5 down. 29 plus 12 without my calculator gives me 2, 3, 41. And then that 41 minus 5. Good old fashioned with the tip. Gives me 36. What I'd like you to do to show me that you're listening truly. For this set right here, I just want to see you just try to tackle one right away. So if I give you these in blue, write these down too. This would be 4 minus 2 squared minus 4 plus 5. Actually, let's change that. Don't want that to be... A negative number. Let's go 10 minus 3 squared minus 4 plus 6. Try that one on your own and then try this one. 6 plus n squared plus 3 times 2 minus n. I want you to plug in n equals 3. Give it a try. The fifth word is fish. Fish. If you happen to finish these and even get these one in the blue right, what I'd like you to do is use this time to take a look at the class slides where you found this video. Take a look at people who got full credit on yes or that slide work that we did. And then take a look at someone who got full credit on the class work that we did on that day. Again, more examples of someone got full credit on this day. All right. Good luck.